Hey guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back. It's the middle of June which means that it's time to freak out at how little of books from my TBR I've actually read this year. I am joking but uh, not really. This year my reading was a little messy. I've read a lot of books that I got randomly interested in. I didn't read a lot from my physical TBR. I've read 37 books in total. Some of them were audiobooks, some of them were just short stories. And my favorite genre was literary fiction which is a bit of a surprise to me because I still like reading fantasy the most. Anyways this is my mid-year book freakout tag and let's get right to the questions. Question number one, best book you have read so far this year and Ta-da! It's The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book, but it is only part one. This is the first book in a high fantasy series. I actually filmed a whole vlog talking about this book, so I'm not going to talk about it more, but it's so amazing. <laughs> the book in itself has like 1,100 pages, at least the editions that I have. Um, and it's a long book, but it's so worth it. That being said, it starts off a little slow. I love the magic system, the characters, the plot in it. I adore this book so much that when I finished reading it, I just wanted to restart it again. Instead, I pick up the second book, of course, but if the second book wasn't out yet, I would definitely just reread it again, just to see what I've missed the first time reading it. Love, love, love this book. I love Brandon Sanderson books. This is probably one of his best series of all time that he has written so far. It's amazing. Read it, seriously. If you like fantasy, specifically high adult fantasy, and you don't really like a lot of romance in the books, this is for you. Question number two, best sequel you have read so far this year. And I haven't really read a lot of book series this year. I focused a lot on standalones, but there was this one sequel that I read, so I guess that will be my entry for this prompt. And it is The Thief's Daughter by Jeff Wheeler. The first book is kind of middle grade and the second book is YA. And the third book, I guess, is adult because you follow the main character that is slowly growing up into a very powerful man. Actually, the whole series might be young adult, I'm not exactly sure, but it is so good. I love the magic system, the world building, again, the plot, but just be prepared that you will be scarred by this book probably a lot. We follow our main character, Owen, that gets transported to King's Castle because of his father's treason, and I like the series a lot. Question number three, new release you haven't read yet from this year, but you want to. This is very easy, The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. Oh. This is a retelling of a Korean myth. The book came out like I don't know, March slash April this year, I'm not exactly sure, but it's been in my mail for quite some time and it hasn't arrived yet, which is the reason why I haven't read it yet, but once it arrives, I will read it right away. Question number four, most anticipated release for the second half of 2022. There's not a lot of books that I'm really anticipating. Usually I just read the books as they came out or as I got interested in them. But there are two books that I'm looking forward to. The first book is Ithaca by Claire North. This is a retelling of the Odyssey from the point of Penelope and it comes out September 6th. And then, of course, I'm looking forward to The Lost Metal by Brendan Sanderson. This will be the latest book in the Mistborn series and it comes out November 15th. Question number five, biggest disappointment this year. Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. Um, I read this for a video of mine where I read like Namjoon from BTS for an entire month and I was so looking forward to this book and it just wasn't for me. I can see why people like it but there was just stuff in it that I really disliked. And I don't know, I just expected more, I guess, maybe because it's so popular and so hyped up and it didn't meet my expectations at all. 
Question number six, biggest surprise this year. And for this, I have to say Bad Blood by John Carreyrou. I've read this as an audiobook and it's a story of Elizabeth Holmes and her fake company Theranos or more so company promoting this fake product. And everything about this book is just so surprising. Like there's just one plot twist after another. The thing is, this is nonfiction. It's not only based on reality, it is the reality. The whole book is crazy and I really, really liked it. I didn't expect to be as shocked as I was while I was listening to it, but I highly recommend it if you're interested in the story of Theranos and Elizabeth Holmes. Question number seven, favorite new author. And for this, I have to say Han Kang. Um, I have read only one book by her, but I can already tell that she will be my favorite author. I want to read everything that she has written, specifically everything that was translated to either Czech or English. And this year I've also discovered Kazo Ishiguro. I've read Clara and the Sun and I did a whole entire video talking about it. And I love the book and I want to read more of his books in the second half of this year. Question number eight, newest fictional crush. And I don't have any this year. It's a little surprising, but there hasn't been a fictional character that I've had a crush on since the beginning of 2022. Instead of making up a fake answer, I'll just leave this prompt blank. Question number nine, newest favorite character. For this, I have to say Dalinar Colin from The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I love everything his character stands for, and I was so in a way mesmerized by his actions in the first book and I'm curious to see where he will go in the second book. He's very honorable, he doesn't abuse his power. I don't want to get into any spoilers so I'll not talk about him anymore but I love his character so much and he makes the books better. Question number 10, book that made you cry this year. There were multiple books that made me cry, but I immediately thought of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book is a bit of an emotional roller coaster from the beginning to finish and I loved it. It's actually one of my favorite books I've read this year and it's super popular and I guess it's popular for a reason. Question number 11, book that made you happy this year. And I'm going to be honest, I've read a lot of quite depressing or emotional or just reflective books in general. But one book that comes to my mind is A Psalm for the Wild Belt by Becky Chambers. I'm pretty sure the second book comes out in June this year. And this is a feel-good type of book. It follows a non-binary monk and a robot. And in this world, robots are just living in the wilderness. They worked in factories before, but there was a revolution. And the robot is interested in humanity. The robot and the monk meet and just their interactions are so heartwarming and I love this book so much. Question number 12. Most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year? And this year I bought two Menelima editions. Um, I bought Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and also The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. And these books are just incredible. They have illustrations in them, interactive pages, and they are absolutely beautiful. I guess this page isn't as interesting, but there you go. <laughs> These books are by far the most beautiful books that I have on my shelf, but I also thought of The Sailor Who Fell From Grace With The Sea by Yokio Mishima. This book cover is absolutely beautiful. And by the way, this is the Vintage Japan Classic Collection. Question number 13. What do you need to read by the end of the year? And I want to read more of fantasy. I want to read more of Brandon Sanderson. I also want to get into philosophy and not just into Greek philosophers, but into philosophy in general. I want to read more of Haruki Murakami's books as well because they are so well known and I just want to know what they're about. And I would also like to read more classics, but 
we'll see about that. I'm a huge mood reader, so sometimes I'm not in the mood for a certain genre. So I don't really give myself any specific goals and I'll just read what I will want to read at the moment. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Okay, we need a strategy. We need a strategy. This is why I work out. Just so I could hold this.